Welcome to part number six of this video series of how to make POS system in Microsoft Access. And in today's video, I am going to demonstrate how to make order form. So basically, we are going to create an order form that will look something like this. So imagine this is a Microsoft Access form. And on the left side, you will see a row of or perhaps a column of the products and then you will see a product category sorry on the left side extreme left side and then you would see the column of the products according to the category and then we will have some order data order lines data on the right side of the form so it's going to be a little bit a um, uh, bit complicated i would say not too much complicated but but of course in one form we are going to merge two or three different forms so that's what uh, we need to do so perhaps in this video uh, what we will do is uh, we'll make this two video uh, we'll make this order form in two part videos so in today's tutorial you would watch basically we will put together this structure and um, uh, and, and to do that first we will have to make a form for the categories then we have to make another form for the products then we have we have to make another form for the order lines so three different forms we will have to create then we will in next video perhaps we will uh, merge them together on one form so this is going to be a little bit interesting and perhaps uh, a new new thing for me also to try out and this is how it will roughly look like well of course not exactly the same but roughly structure will be same the color combination might be changed but the structure will remain same so that's what we are going to do all right so before i move ahead i would like to ask for two things first 90 percent of the people who watch my videos have not subscribed to the channel if you're watching on facebook because i upload this video on facebook page as well so if you're watching on facebook thank you very much like the page and visit our youtube channel as well for further more uh, videos also secondly i would like to mention that how about going to this website outcoapparels.com right so go to this website and they have got t-shirts and polo shirts summer sale is going on a very economical prices you can buy really good stuff so outgoapparels.com uh, the link for this website is in the description below so please do visit that all right so this is done now let's move ahead in microsoft access so this is our access database which we have been working on if you haven't watched the first five videos i would strongly recommend you to watch those videos and the link for those videos are in the description below so uh, to make things easy for you to just go and click the link and watch the videos okay uh, so let's first make uh, this form so for example we have first we will create this form so this is a a continuous form this will be continuous form which will have categories uh, data or information in it right uh, so first we'll create this form uh, this form will also have search option so in case if you have multiple or a lot of categories you can search the category as well so that functionality also we need to build in this particular uh, form so let's go ahead in access and uh, first to create a form we'll go to the create button in the tab create tab in the ribbon and uh, then we'll click on form design and in here we will uh, change the size a little bit because we don't want this much uh, width all right so now first thing we need to do is we will uh, do a little housekeeping and that is we'll go to the format and um, we'll remove the record selector we'll turn it off navigation button will turn it off so we can have clean form to work with okay now 
the next thing i would like to do is to link this table and before we do that well, let's save the form and we will call it uh, categories list f so it will be basically list form continuous form and now let's change the form type as well so from default view from single form we will change it to continuous form so it shows like a, it will have a scroll bar as well so it will show the uh, number of products and user can scroll up and down to find out the categories as well now let's link this table to the uh, categories table because that's what we are creating and now let's pull uh, pull the fields into the form so let's pull the picture first okay let's remove this label make it a little bigger there we go then um, let's pull the category id here and then let's pull the category text here so we'll remove the labels because we don't want the labels the name will be enough We'll make it center alignment bold and we'll make it black color. Category ID uh, will also, well, category ID, we are not going to show it to people, the audience. So for example, if I'll uh, right click and go to the form view now, now you will see the category ID as well and you will see the category name so what we would like to do is uh, to make this this field category field name and name field to be non-editable and we would like to hide this category id field as well because we don't really want uh, the end users to see the category we want to keep it clean the way it is right so we want to just display the category name and the picture of it that is it and to do that, we have to make this category ID as hidden field. So let's uh, reduce the height of it. We'll go to design, property sheet, and we want to make it visible, no. Well, you must be thinking then why to have category ID? Well, we need to have category ID. So when the user will choose or click a button, then it will look at what is the ID number of that category. And based on that, this list of the product will be filtered. So that's what, uh, that's why we need the category ID. Okay. And that's what I'm trying to do. With the VB coding, we will do, we will achieve that. But at least we need to have this function or these fields necessary available on our form. Now let's go to the uh, form view and now there is no more category ID field. This we have to make non-editable. Let's go and do that and to do non-editable go to the selective field and go data tab. Enabled no, locked yes. And let's change the background color. Let's make it little perhaps. There you go little gray the color all right i'm sorry for the background noise people are making well they don't know i'm recording but anyway all right so category and the picture uh, we are good let's go ahead and look at here okay so this form is slightly uh, this color well we'll see later on if we will if we would like to change the background color we will definitely do so otherwise we don't need to change the background color perhaps we can change the background color of this uh, picture and that would be okay i guess but this is not going to be the final version maybe we'll do little changes in the colors later on now let's make a text box text box which will search um which will operate as a search option so we'll uh, 
oops for text box we will uh, go to the form header right we'll remove the foot and in here we will make a um, little grayish and then let's pull up the text box okay let's remove the label and name here we will see we will say txt search that is it txt search will increase the width a little bit of this text box and we will pull this and there you go all right hope you are understanding what i'm doing and i hope i am explaining in a well manner uh, if i'm not please do let me know in the comments below so that would be great now let's make a line here this line will act as a divider between two categories so so you know if we are let's go ahead there you go so we will make in vb coding that if for example uh, someone types in uh, the category name let's say uh, what items what items personal care let's say personal and the moment they leave this text box this filled uh, this list will be filtered automatically according to whatever we will search here right so that's the kind of functionality we want to create another thing i would like to do is to give a option to user to click somewhere so they can they can so we need to provide a mechanism to go to the, to filter this particular list as well so they can click and they can go to the list as well so we will do that and we will achieve that by um, i would say clicking on a button and let's let's get one button here okay but we'll make it cancel we will go to the format shape uh, different shape uh, let's make the shape outline as transparent let's go to the format let's have a little icon instead of text picture and let's have check mark icon right that is good so let's reduce the width of it okay this would be enough and let's bring in here so user would click on this checkbox in order to um, in order to tell the database that i want this selection right that's what it will do so click on this and then the list will be filtered accordingly or we can make a big button and that big button let's make that and then we'll see which one looks better and then we will choose right so it's it's providing it's creating a user interface in a way that it looks better and it is also functional at same time that's what actually i'm trying to do so let's say we will say uh, choose category okay let's change the shape let's change this as well and let's bring a check mark here we want text at the same time right let's change the shape outline to be blue i like blue color so always will choose blue and let's see which which one looks better and then we will choose that as our final button i'm sure the big button will look better it's not only about looking better it's it's about function as well it's about giving functionality so this is bigger button so i think this button is better than having this little button on the side so bigger button is better for choosing the category now 
what we can do is we can change the caption as well and we can change the caption in a way that it represents the caption of this category uh, yeah we can change that let's do a little coding here on load event code builder and let's say oops we need to give a name to this button what is the name of the button ptn ptn choose cat cat is category so me dot btn choose category dot caption is equal to this is the text box me dot category dot value hmm this is much better turning out to be all right so if i'll go to the form view oops me dot choose cat okay yeah category value is null that's why it's giving error so let's pull up let's let's create a database and then it then this code will definitely work. I have no doubt that this code will work. So right now, let's let's uh, let's uh, delete that code and we will go along with this uh, sample. So I like this button. So this is a bigger button and this is uh, user friendly and uh, it's easier for user to see. Let's remove this button. We don't need it. All right cool so i think we are done with one form which is this form okay now we will create this form this form will be linked with the products list okay and this is linked with the categories list so let's go ahead and make that form so we'll make it as a copy uh, this category list will copy that because essentially it's the almost identical form that we are going to create so product list f that is the name of the new form that we are going to create right click design view and in here um, instead of choose category we'll say choose product and then when we are coding and we have a database then here we will have the product name okay so product name whatever product name will be uh, will be here that will represent here here only it will simply show the product name so for example lays right here the button will show choose lays and then the next product choose so and so the product name whatever the product name will be so that we will do okay so let's go to the data and let's change it the table name should be products that's the table name now we need to do little changes here okay trust me you might be thinking hmm, what he's doing I can't understand well you need to watch the previous videos if you haven't watched that's why you are not able to understand what I'm trying to do here but if you have watched the previous videos and you are watching this sixth video then I can assure you that you will know that what I'm trying to achieve here the the objective is is it's is simple as that when i explained it in the previous video also that the we need to make a user interface that will be simple easy to use functional and it should look pleasing to the eyes these are the criterias of uh, the user interface that's what we are trying to achieve here okay so let's uh, change the category id because we have product id instead of category id okay oops and then let's change this to product name we'll change it here as well remember that product id product id product id done product what else we need well we need rsp text net rsp 
ओके आर एस पी टेक्स्ट नेट आर एस पी दैट्स वट वी नीड सो विल एक्सटेंड द साइज ऑफ इट विल प्रिंग द प्रोडक्ट नेम हियर सो विल मेक इट लिटिल बिट बिगर विल एक्सपैंड द विथ बिकॉज सम प्रोडक्ट्स नेम विल बी बिगर सो वी नीड टू हैव फुल product name to be displayed in this text box and then let's copy this and we need we will link this with the rsp okay this will link it with text all right Well, let's do one thing. Let's delete it because I want to show the labels as well. As well, so let's bring them one by one. Product ID is already there. Product category. Uh, we need RSP text net RSP. Bring it here. All right. Let's make them stacked. We'll do the changes later. Don't worry. Okay. Let's remove the layout. Let's move the product here. So we'll move the labels on the top. and text box okay product name will come here we will expand it a little bit and we'll change the label to product name okay we'll make it bold rsp will come here rsp is retail sales price in case if you are wondering category id we don't really need so we will make it hide as if we have uh, similar to product id that we have hidden field tax amount okay we'll bring the rsp here all right i know i might be it it might be a little boring but trust me this is what you need to know when you are building especially this kind of pos for some people it will be useful i'm sure and for some people it will be boring as as you know what i'm trying to say here all right let's uh, make the border a little bit bigger and let's increase the size of this as well we'll make this field as hidden so visible no let's uh, decrease the height to zero perhaps and let's bring them here and let's bring them here let's reduce the size and make the search text box little bigger so it looks better okay we'll go to the form view and there you go what we need to do is remove this um, outlines right now it might not be looking better but trust me it is better Okay. 
I know that for the fact and let's make them non editable so it looks much better right so when we have a data in our products table that data will definitely show up in these fields respectively and then user will click on the choose product it will be added into the list of the products that needs to be added in the order so we're done with this part as well right as i said the color combination might not be same in the access we will look at it later if we really change uh, if we really need to change the colors we will definitely do we will definitely do so but right now because we are still in the phase of deciding uh, what kind of user interface will look like and that's why i'm not taking any decision on the colors major decision on the colors color combination definitely we will correct it later that's what will happen in the next video all right this is done and uh, we are done with this part also now let's make this part because this we will make it on the original actual order form this we need it separately so this will be a list of uh, list of uh, orders order lines order lines uh, list uh, that we need to embed in the order form so whenever user will click on the choose product that product will be added into this particular list with the reference number of this order number okay so let's go ahead and do that so we'll create another form oops what i'm designing query no i'm designing form all right we will uh, make it a little bit wider okay and we'll change later definitely will change how the width how the width will look like all right so we'll uh, will first of all we'll do the housekeeping that means we will uh, turn off the record selector navigation buttons we need the scroll bars so that is fine then uh, we will save the form and we'll say order lines f okay and we will uh, link this form with the order lines order lines we'll go to design pull up the fields okay select all of that perhaps all right let's make the font as black color and now let's make them as tabular so that's what we want now let's quickly do the formatting uh, we don't want order line and order number to be visible so perhaps i will um, move them here and we will hide them later on because we don't want we don't really want to show it to the users uh, who are using they need to see the product id for sure they need to see the product name they need to see the price before tax they need to see how much tax is applied to this particular product and they need to see of course the price after tax and they can change the quantity so quantity here and of course the net total of that particular line all right and this might change later on we will see along with the time what we need to keep and what we need to uh, you know kind of hide it or get rid of from this form so let's first first of all let's uh, hide them we don't want to see and let's width let's make it zero we don't really need to see and reduce the width of the form and now you have this form right uh, let's remove the shape outline let's make it transparent and let's bring a line here this line will be well product id would not 
we don't need this much size for the product id what we need is we can increase the size of this field to show the product name all right tax price price after tax quantity total let's make them in the middle let's align them in the middle let's make these as bold and let's pull up a line here oops first of all let's change the height of these text boxes to zero point at the moment 0.529 will make it 0.6 and top margin will make it 0.06 all right that is fine now a little leaning towards bottom so 0.05 let's pull up the line here and we will there you go okay let's uh, make it down a little bit let's change the background color of this form okay all right i wanted to make a label here but then I thought no need no need now let's make it uh, let's make the sum of this so the you know the when whenever the line will be added it will automatically calculate well design arrange format database tools okay so we'll remove the layout here and we'll say equal to some pbt right so show us the total amount of whatever is added right now it is not showing but of course when we will add some products here it will automatically show the sum as well similarly we'll do it here with these fields so remove the layout we'll bring them down and we'll change it to some of the text then some of the price after tax we will make it quantity sum as well net total make it sum of net total all right so totals will automatically show here we'll make them bold and transparent and these fields should be enabled no locked yes this perhaps should be aligned towards left and there you go this form is also ready and this field should be non-editable right should be non-editable we for um, yes okay now what we need to do we need to make perhaps two buttons here one to modify it and one to delete if we want to delete so two buttons we need so let's select all of these let's bring them here and let's make two buttons so one button is for 
we'll cancel it and we'll call it btn edit sometime quantity needs to be added it maybe instead of one we need to make it two or three something like that so uh, that we need to give a functionality to the user we'll give it modify modify what should be the icon for modify perhaps this one it's not really modify but uh, it works okay let's change the width so here we go copy that button and we'll make this button for the delete we'll make it as btn delete and we'll change the icon for delete it should be cross for example delete do we have any icon here well i think this one is fine yep looks fine looks okay but we'll see there you go so we will have these two buttons to do the different work let's increase the width of the line all right there we go looks better all right so this is done so so what we did we kind of created three forms categories sorry categories lift list uh, we have created order lines we have created product list so this is just a structure that we are preparing so essentially if i'll go back to my reference point we have prepared this this and this in next video i'm going to show and we are going to merge all of this in one big form and that will be order form of course and uh, then we will look at what color combination we should decide because we have to make it simple functional easy to use and at the same time pleasing to the eyes so that is the formula which i'm going to demonstrate in the next video for sure um, and this is it until now what we have done and thank you very much for watching if you like this video smash the like button if you would like to share it with someone else please go ahead and do so tell me in the comments below how did you find this video was it useful or not and then uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video uh, that is it for today I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.